this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown if i'm on the mission is you riding like some michelin homie in the kitchen fire stones how he whipping it i be on my michigan blue and yellow vintage it's make a right on michigan 69 too hot for us if you clicked on this video to find out about Kane shot and Anya dead, I need you to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And to my cinema cronies, drop the flex emoji in the comments. Now, I put this clip together, not in the way that it came in the trailer, but in the way that I think it's gonna happen. Now, the first thing I wanna address is Anya crying. Why do we think Anya is crying? She's telling her mom to get away from her. I obviously believe that she finds out that her mom killed her dad. Now, how do I think she find out? It's two separate ways. Now, one way I think is that Tyreek end up telling her. I think Tyreek ends up um, coming clean to her. Well, I don't think, I think this could happen. This is not a prediction. This is a theory it's a difference but um my theory is that Tyreek could probably end up telling her what's going on and then obviously she'll know from there but for him to tell her that he will have to come clean but the other thing that I think will actually happen now my prediction would be that um Noma's brother keep asking about her husband and have she heard anything and Noma just end up telling him listen I had to take care of him he was disloyal he did xyz and Anya overhears that and that's what the problem become now how Tyreek get in the house I don't know maybe she kidnap him or maybe she put Anya and Tyreek in that little shed that they busting out of to what for whatever reason right that's the second scene that I think is gonna happen then thirdly I think they actually in the car and they pulling off and the reason I think that is because you still see tears in her eyes so that's the reason that I think all of that happened in that sequence this actually is going to turn out to be a epic episode now when you look at the end it looked like they all at the uh jet port right and i think the reason why they at the jet port is because they trying to get out of town when i say they i mean like kane and them i mean you see kane diana and drew they mama done died they done rage war on noma i believe that they end up killing noma and that's why we see them at the airport they trying to get on that jet and get away they got places to be and things to go do now, I know a lot of y'all is probably wondering what's going to happen in this episode. I'm telling y'all, I'm still standing on that business. I still believe that G-H-O-S-T is coming back. I believe it. I don't care what y'all believe. Now, let's move on to the second thing. We're talking about this Kane situation. Now, a lot of people see Kane get shot and they say he going to die. Um, I don't think Kane going to die. One reason I don't, because if Kane was going to die, they wouldn't have put him getting shot in the trailer. Now, I know I'd be hard on power and i say that they give a lot of stuff away i say they do it way too early but when we look at this situation if they was gonna put that in there he definitely not dying so it looked like he get grazed he might get hit in the shoulder but i never expected him to die anyway i if y'all go back and check my own videos i've been telling y'all that i expect kane to keep going i expect i expect kane to take over her London syndicate. I expect him to be a big man on campus over there. Now, it does look like it's uh, police officers at this jet port. We do see Diana get on the ground. We see Drew get on the ground. So we don't know what's going on right here. Now, if Kane did die in this situation, that would be super crazy that they put that in the trailer. And obviously they didn't see us. Uh, I mean, obviously they didn't let us see it play all the way out, but this is really a crazy situation if they put that in there and Kane end up dying. Um, I don't know who gonna end up dying, but I think a lot of people keep moving through. Um, in my personal opinion, I definitely think that we could see Effie die. We got a lot of Effie backstory. We never knew nothing about her at first. And if we think about it, when we look at Monet, we never knew anything about Monet, but then we got a lot of her backstory. Now, the reason why I think it's a possibility that everybody dies and that further drives Kane uh, character. Remember that Kane has been highly dependent on who? Effie, who? Monet, 
who Noma. So once they all out the way, Kane can focus more on his business. And I think that actually makes his character more darker. I think that makes his character care less. Like, I think we're going to see a lot of action from Kane on this one. And he definitely going to be gunning for Noma 100 miles an hour. Now, with Noma killing Monet, the power has shifted, right? Um, Noma is no longer in control. Noma is now on the road, run. Noma is now um, closed into her fortress and she has all her security around her. And guess what? She can't go anywhere because she's on the run from the international police. Um, well, the Italy police, but I think it would be some type of international thing where like if she went to another company or if her jet was in the air and they found out it was in the air, they can divert her to somewhere else and make her land. So I think she's just trying to go back, not go there to, you know, kind of avoid questioning. And a lot of people do that. A lot of people, when they go on a run, they just avoid the state that they being looked for in. And then hopefully just over time, it just goes away. And I think that's what Noma kind of hoping on, you know. All right, let me stay in the States for a little while. Let me handle my business here. Let me get everything together and let's let everything go down. But I think her main plan was to never go back um, overseas again. I think her main plan was to not go back until she had the power, the influence, and the money to uh, buy her way out of it and have her friends in high power and pull strings and stuff like that. But um, I wonder, uh, is Anya going to be the one to kill her? It kind of don't look like she is. But, I mean, it's a possibility there. Now, the weird thing that's going to be is, is Diana going to see Tyreek with Anya when she pull up to the gate shooting? We look at the situation and we see Tyreek face. He look up and he got the shock look on his face. Maybe he see Diana shooting because Diana is not playing no games. She's not holding no punches anymore. The weird thing about it is that she told Tyreek she didn't want to be in the streets. And now she's full-fledged in that. But, I mean, what do you expect? She got beat up by a dirty cop. She lost her baby. Then she just saw her mom get killed in front of her. So, now, for her, she probably feel like, hey, it's nothing else to lose now. And so, I wouldn't expect Diana to die because I believe that Diana could have a pretty strong um storyline moving forward or moving lateral into another show like they could actually have a show where Effie and um Diana are against each other and they got their own little world that they living in and I, I told you one thing about power is they do something for every demographic when you look at Tommy and Force that's like the white Italian mob um the Irish mob that's more of like a white middle-aged gangster show then you got ghost which is ghost is for the black demographic is for like i'll say maybe 35 to about 20 21 but they probably trying to realistically they demographic they was aiming for was probably like between 17 and 25 then when you go look at raising canaan raising canaan is that nostalgia show so that goes for the people in the age bracket man that can go anywhere from 20 all the way up to 60 and the reason why you can go that high is because it gives the nostalgia of the old days it gives the feel it gives the cause it gives the vibe and when older people watch it they can just be like man i remember when xyz it bring those memories back to them the memories when they were young the memories that they liked and then the younger people like it because unique is a representation of all the young people man he wear all the custom stuff the gucci the louis he wear all the new jordans the track the jogging suits so that's what it is but before i give you all this trivia question if you have a facebook go follow power book multiverse and cinema on instagram at f-a-i-r-p-l-a-y underscore 2333 and for the barbetti family series a lot of y'all keep asking me is it on spotify or is it on apple it's on spotify and it's supposed to be moved to apple at some point and once i get done with this video i'm actually gonna upload episode two to spotify because episode one is on there now so appreciate all y'all support on that and barbetti is spelled b-a-r-b-e-t-t-i if y'all don't know what it is y'all will hit a promo for it at the end now for the trivia question this one might be hard for y'all to answer but because it's kind of like you have to read between the lines did carter lie to pause when he said he was gonna put tyreek st patrick where he need to be yes or no 
Don't forget to check out my original crime drama, The Barbetti Family. The Barbetti Family is the first black Italian Chicago crime syndicate. They started in Milan, Italy in 1920 and migrated their way to the States to take over the streets of Chicago. Thanks for listening to today's breakdown of Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. If you like what you heard, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. For more exclusive content and photos, go to Facebook and join Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. I'm Fairplay2333. This is Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. And salute to all my cinema cronies.